What is up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mira Michelle, your flight attendant artist. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos. Now you might be wondering, why are you so pink? What's going on? <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to show you my version of the milk bath trend that has taken over TikTok for the last few months. This is an interesting photo shoot idea for your friends and your family if ever you're bored like me during lockdown. Let's get into the game. Now let's talk about the gears and the tools that you will need for the photo shoot. First of all is the camera, preferably a DSLR but your phones will do the job as well depending on the light condition. DSLRs and iPhone 11 are actually perfect for dark settings because they have features that can be adjusted according to your needs especially when it comes to low light conditions. Next one, milk. Lots of flowers and leaves, but you can use your creativity when it comes to this one. If you're not feeling leaves and flowers floating around you, you can use other options which brings us to... Ta-da! Grapefruit and oranges! <laughs> Next one is the bathtub. When it comes to the water level, you have to make sure that the bathtub is not overfilled with water. Otherwise, when you soak into the water, it might overflow and you might look like you're drowning in the photographs and we don't want that. Next one, of course, is a ring light. And last but not the least, guess what? A clipboard. Okay, let me show you. This is the reason why the setting is so pink today. To answer the question that might be running around your head as to why am I using a pink clipboard, I think you get the idea by now. It's all about the lighting. If you are going to use your maximum creativity and resourcefulness and you're not willing to spend on expensive gears and expensive lighting for a one-time photo shoot, then a clipboard is the perfect idea. If the clipboard is not available at home, you can also use colorful transparent folders as well as candy wrappers.
back. Yung friend ko ayaw niya magpakita sa video. Anyway, tapos na kaming mag-photoshoot. Nakain na kami, gutom na kami. I-review lang namin yung shots. Tapos mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung naging resulta. Stay tuned! Bye! Now, let's move on to my most favorite part of the photo shoot, which is the post-processing. There are two different kinds of themes that we made use of. First one is with the flowers, which is giving off this seductive and romantic realness. And the other one is with the oranges and grapefruits, which is more like on the perky and the happy side. I'm going to show you the detailed demonstration of how I edit this picture. So let's start. So let's go to Lightroom. Select the photo of your choice. All right, so I'll go for this one. It's not the best, but just to demonstrate. All righty. And then we'll go to light. Let's play with the exposure to make it a little bit brighter. Shadows. And then we go to color. And then click that small color wheel on the upper right. Lower down the hue. And then go for higher orange hue. Then Let's jump straight to the blue one. Make it a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. A little lower saturation. A little lower indigo hue. Lower down the saturation. Lower down the violet hue and the violet saturation. And luminous. You won't see a lot of difference right now, but once you go to light, raise the highlights and the shadow. Voila! Export to camera roll and there you have it. Let's go for the roses. Click this one. Go to light. Raise the exposure a little bit, that's too much. And then you raise the shadow. Go for color, go to colors. Again, click that small color wheel on the upper right. Okay, let's intensify the red hue until negative uh, six. Raise the saturation to the right. And then Raise the luminance as well. Go to the orange hue, lower it down. On the yellow hue, again, lower it down. On the blue hue, mm, lower it down. And lower down the saturation as well. On the violet hue, this is where everything changes. You have to raise the hue to the right. Actually, this is indigo, right? This is not violet. There you go. You can see the color of the water changes. Oopsie, wrong. Okay. Yeah. And then you raise the saturation as well. There you have it. And again, lastly, onto the violet hue. Maybe put it a little bit on the side until number 16. Raise the saturation and lower down the luminance. There you go. Now we can see the difference. Enjoy! So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and your family. Once again, this is Mira Michelle, your flight attendant artist. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!